Welcome grade four. Today we will talk about the importance of sunlight to living organisms. In unit one, living organisms, we have four lessons. Lesson one, human digestive system. Lesson two, respiratory system. Lesson three, the cell is a building unit of living organisms. Lesson 4, and this is our lesson today, the importance of sunlight to living organisms. We have many points for our lesson. The first point took the importance of sun for us. Second point, the importance of plants for all living organisms. Third point, the importance of sun for plants. Fourth point, photosynthesis process in plants. And the last one, types of living organisms according to kind of feeding. What is the importance of sun? Sun gives us heat and light. Second point, the plant is the main source of food and energy for men and most of animals. For example, Cow or sheep feed on plants. Many animals feed on plants. Birds feed on seeds of some plants. And men also feed on vegetables and fruits. So, all living organisms depend on plants to get their food. Another point, the importance of sun for plants. Plants depend on sun to make their food. What is the importance of sun for plants? Plants depend on sun to make their food. For remember, parts of plants. Plants consist of three main parts, which are root under the soil, stem, and leaves. Parts of plants again, root, stem, and leaves. Also, for remember, we want to remember the structure of plant cell. We have six simple structures for plant cell. The first one is cell wall, which surrounds the cell from outside. Plasma membrane, which is around cytoplasm. Nucleus, chloroplastis or green blastids, sieve vacuole, and cytoplasm, which is a fluid that fills the space of cell. Especially, I want to talk about chloroplastis or green blastids. Chloroplastis or green blastids gives a plant green color and help it to make its own food. Let's see another point. How can plants make their food? Green plants make its own food by photosynthesis process in its green leaves because these green leaves contain chloroplastis. So, plants are called producer organism or autotrophic, autotrophic or self-feeder. Again, plants can make its own food by process called photosynthesis process in green leaves of plants because these green leaves contain chloroplasts. So, Plants are called producers or autotrophic. Autotrophic it means self feeder, self feeder. معناها ذاتية التغذية يعني بتقدر تعمل أكلها بنفسها. Let's see what is the photosynthesis process, or I want to define photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis process is a biological process. Biological process. Take place in plants green parts. Take place in green parts of plants. 
to make food, the food of plant called starches, and produce oxygen gas. Again, photosynthesis is biological process take place in green parts of plants to make food from starches and produce oxygen. This process takes place in the existence of three main factors sunlight, carbon dioxide gas, water and mineral salts. Again, photosynthesis process take place in green parts as leaf because it contains chlorophyll or chloroplasts or green blastids can absorb sunlight, take carbon dioxide gas, water to produce sugar or starch and oxygen gas. In photosynthesis process, plant transfer energy from solar energy into chemical energy. Again, in photosynthesis process, plants make a transform of energy, transformation of energy, the Hawulat al We will study it in Unit 2. The first type of transformation here in plants. Plants change solar energy, solar energy, solar energy, solar. This is another meaning for sun. Plants change solar energy to chemical energy or change light energy to chemical energy. Chemical energy means starches or carbohydrates. Again, the necessary factors for photosynthesis process, sunlight, chloroplastis, carbon dioxide gas, water and mineral salts. How does the plant make its own food by photosynthesis process? The first, green leaves of plants have chloroplasts, which gives the plant its green color, so it absorbs sunlight. If I ask you what is the part of plant absorb sunlight, green leaves. The second step, the roots of plant absorb water and mineral salts from soil and transport them to leaves. In this figure, root absorb water and mineral salts from the soil, then transfer into stem and leaves. Leaves absorb carbon dioxide gas from air. All these substances, sunlight, carbon dioxide gas, water and mineral salts react together to produce starch and oxygen. Now, this activity proves the importance of sunlight for green plants. Have two flower puts, each one contains a green plant. The first plant called A and second one called B. Cover one of them by constructed paper sack with narrow holes to let air go through. Plant B, I will cover it with a cover contain narrow holes to allow carbon dioxide gas to go. Leave the two flower puts for two days and keep watering them regular. What happened to both puts after two days? The first one, exposed to the sun, irrigate with water and exposed to carbon dioxide gas. Plant B cover so it can't expose to the sun and it exposed to air which carbon dioxide gas and irrigate with water. What happened after two days? We will observe that the cover the plant becomes yellow and weak. Why? Why it becomes yellow and weak? Due to absence of sunlight. That plants can't make its own food. 
so sunlight is necessary for plants to make their own food sunlight is considered as <coughs> sorry a resource of energy for plants now let's see let's see two process plants make them the first process called photosynthesis process which plant take or use carbon dioxide gas and release oxygen gas to make their food of course photosynthesis process take place during morning in the presence of sunlight respiration process plants are living organisms as any living organisms need oxygen for respiration and reduce carbon dioxide gas respiration process increase at night so in photosynthesis plants take carbon dioxide and reduce oxygen for making food in respiration green plants use oxygen and release carbon dioxide gas for respiration the products of photosynthesis process in photosynthesis process plants produce two products starch or sugar or carbohydrates so starch sugar carbohydrates carbohydrates sorry the same meaning and produce oxygen gas again the products of photosynthesis process starch and oxygen gas now we have two important notes the first one iodine solution iodine solution is a chemical substance used to detect the presence of starches in plants iodine solution has a yellow color and this yellow color changes to blue in the existence of a starch look at uh, this this leaf doesn't make photosynthesis process so it hasn't a starch and another one make photosynthesis process it has a starch put a drop of yellow iodine solution for each of them we will observe this leaf which hasn't a starch its color faint green and this leaf has a blue color why because the iodine solution changed from yellow to blue in the existence of starches the second note green plants is necessary for keeping the ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide gas constant in air air is a mixture of gases air consists of many gases as oxygen gas and oxygen gas is very important for respiration for all living organisms its percentage in air 21 percent nitrogen gas 78 percent and we will talk about nitrogen with full details in grade 6 carbon dioxide gas and other gases one percent why the percentage of oxygen or the ratio of oxygen in air is constant although all living organisms consume or take oxygen the answer will be due to presence of green plants green plants take carbon dioxide gas and produce oxygen gas so green plants are very important for us because they give us food and oxygen gas thank you great for